is cold. So that means the temperature outside is affecting you inside. Good evening, everybody! Please, let's give a big round of applause to my brother, my friend, MC Attraction for a night like this. You know, the gospel community needs this. Let us honor our people, our pastors, administrators, even church members, those who don't get the right, you know, attention that they deserve. Uh, by the special grace of God, I've been living in this country for 10 good years. And like every other African that is in this country, we all experience our culture shock. Now, one of my earliest culture shock is the fact that things that I thought were done a particular way because I was born and raised in Nigeria, I, rest, I experienced that in America. It's totally different. And I've learned my lessons. And I can give people like Elenu and those who came after me the proper orientation. Number one, in America, people can fight for their rights. In Nigeria, you don't have rights. So that's why when the Black Lives Matter movement started, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, I first asked, what are they fighting for? One, police is stopping you with a gun. And you are arguing with somebody who has a gun. And some of them are getting killed. Now, where we come from, we have been trained that whoever holds the gun, is the boss. We as Africans, when police stop us, we help them to do their job. <laughs> Sir, do you know why I'm stopping you? Sir, I don't know why you are stopping me, but for you to have stopped me, you have a reason. Please go ahead with your job. We don't argue with the police. Here is where they argue. Yeah, all right, this, that, that, that. See, where we come from, we know that, you see, he who fights and run, lives to fight. That's why we don't argue with them. Number one. Then number two, like Elenu said, churches in America is totally different from how we expect. You see, white churches and black churches, totally different experience. You go to a white church, they sing one particular song in 30 seconds. Amazing grace, how sweet thou art. Sing it along. That song in a white church will be done in 30 seconds. But when you go to a black church, elongate that song by another three minutes. I don't know why we like doing that. I think it's a black thing. Amazing grace, how sweet. They will now elongate. I didn't say sour, I said sweet. I didn't say bitter, I said how sweet thou wert that saved. I said he saved, he didn't leave me alone. He didn't abandon me, I said he saved. A rage like me. I said me, not them, not we, not us, me. Who asked you? You guys, wala is too much. And there's something about us Nigerians. Everything about us is just special. See, when God was creating the Nigerians, he already knew the kind of people we are. That's why God made himself omnipresent. Because only Nigerians will call God and ask him to be in one million places at the same time. And how many of you know that? You see, when we pray, our prayers is influenced by our origin, where you come from. If you're from the West, we know how our Yorubas pray. Yorubas in the house, make some noise! You must know us, everywhere there is Yoruba, there is telecommunication. Because Yorubas can talk and we can greet. But when Yorubas pray, we have three major prayer points. Number one, prayer for money. Number two, long life to enjoy the money. Then the last one that every Yoruba person does, prayer against enemies. Yorubas can conjure enemy. And you see, that prayer starts with the time of the year. January, this time of the year, prayer for money. 
Afeshi Komo, Ikomi, graduation. They want to do everything. Prayer. Then long life because the Yorubas don't believe in walking. Somebody else will now come and enjoy it. There's even a spare point for that. And it's just me why Then the last one is the prayer against enemies. Yorubas can conjure enemies where they don't exist. Oluwa, o pa won ta mi, o ta le baba, o ta le ya, o ta gbangba, o ta koko, o ta oke, o ta sale. Ti waju teyin, tinu beyen, ta be tebu, koru yi, i don't want me, i ti mowo, i ti mori. What is it? Are you the only one they are pursuing? And when you hear the prayer against your enemy, if you are their enemy, you will repent. Oluwa, bogun ta won to bogun ti mi, ja fa won to bamja, ja sa won patamu, awon ta mi, lu won pa, sa won lobe, gun won lada. Is God a higher assassin? That is why I love my brothers from the east. Ibo Kwenu! Kwenu! Where's Kwenu? Ibos don't pray. Ibos negotiate. Ibos pray to God like they are doing God a favor. You hear? Chineke God, how are you? And Ibos believe every time they pray, they need to reintroduce themselves. Oh, your boy, Chukode. Importer, exporter, pure water. Five, Ibn Kujule, Dumata, Lagos. The shop that is close to the entrance. It is your boy, Chukode. Oh, say in your book of Malachi, that if I pay my tithe, you will open windows of heaven. Chineke God, what is happening? I have paid my tithe five months in a row, container, city, high sea. What is happening? Biko, 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 respect yourself. Oh. Container, no land, I remove my money from church. Oh. That's why I love my Igbo brothers. And I said this about four years ago. Some of you will remember that a whole airplane, Malaysian airline, disappeared. Modern science could not find it. You know Nigerians, we don't play when it comes to stuff like that. We, those of us who travel on a weekly basis, what did we do? We changed our prayer point. Father, my plane must not disappear. I even noticed that, you see, even regular Americans who board their airplane without praying, I noticed that during that period, when everybody's boarding the plane, you see them touch the entrance and mumble to themselves. Ah. I said, I don't know what these people you see. I don't trust Americans. Some of them might be tired of life. So when I get to the entrance, I touch it again. Father, any attempt for this plane to disappear, let it disappear now. I cover this. See, it left to Nigerians alone. Jesus will have died a second time of anemia. The way we use the blood, I cover this entire plane with the blood of Jesus. Myself with the blood of Jesus. My family with the blood. I cover the pilot with the blood of Jesus. Even those who don't want to be covered, I cover them. But you see, our tribe still affect us. When we get on the plane, the first set of Nigerians to pray are the Yorubas. You hear Yorubas? We are the only ones who pray and make reference to what has no business with our prayer. Hey, Father, we are about to fly now. What concerns a Jabel do with a plane that is flying in the air? And to play in my folk, but also this will go. Are you okay for go for this or go to your loan? I know I'm owing three months tight. Father, if this plane land, I will pay 10 months in advance. So anything you want, Father, with a to your loan, I jump to your loan. They will be using God to beg. Father, I beg you in the name of Father. Please, this plane must land you to your loan. That's your bad people for you. And this is where the Igbos are different again. Ibo Kwenu! You will see my Hebrew brothers, they are the most relaxed, even during that flight. Once the pilot announced, ladies and gentlemen, switch off all electric appliances, we're about to fly right now, that is when Chukudi will pray. He will just switch his phone. Chineke God. Alpha. You already know who it is. We're about to fly now, and you and I know this plane cannot disappear. Number one, I am chairman of the building committee in my church. <laughs> if this plane disappears, your beauty will disappear. <laughs> Number two, because I don't trust what will happen, the account and the book of the account is in my pocket. If I disappear, your building disappear. Also, because I know you don't joke with your money, because you say, if you want to pay tithes, I will remember we are fighting our brother. If you should first drop the tithes before we go and settle, you'll like your money. So therefore, my title and my offering, they're in my pockets. This plane disappear. In your money, it disappear. Even while there is turbulence and everybody shouting, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Say, Remember, your money is here. <laughs> I love my people so much for that. Now, back to my Nigerian people. 
You see, if you have noticed, in North America, Nigerians are the most educated ethnic groups in North America. I think we deserve a big round of applause. And I would like to thank our mothers for that. Because you see, the way Nigerian mothers have brought us up, our brains have started functioning higher than our contemporaries. In America, your mom talked to you in direct tenses. Shegun, no, in America, they will tell you, um, what's your name? Mary. Uh, Mary, I'm going to go get some groceries right now. I'm going to need you to do your dishes, do your homework, and put your room in order, right? That's what they tell you in America. Now, this is how we were trained in Nigeria. Mary, oh, my shoe. I'm going to the market now. You see those plates in the sink? Don't wash it, oh. Leave it for me. Show my in the be. When I come back, and let me tell you, in America, they let you know your punishment. If I come back and it's not washed, time out. In Nigeria, they leave the threat hanging for your imagination. You hear? If I come back and that place, don't... <laughs> so it is not left for you to think what <laughs> is. Or they will just tell you, I will show you. Pepe can be the name of any animal, place, things, belt, koboko, anything. So Pepe is left for you for your imagination. So Nigerian moms, the, it is only in Nigeria that when you ask for a request, your mother repeats it. Here, it's no big deal. In Nigeria, it's a big deal. You go and meet your mom. Mom, please, can I go with my friends to the party? Your mom says, you want to go with your friends to the party? Okay, you can go. What will you do? You will go. Oh, my shoe. In Nigeria, when your mom repeats your request, my sister, that's red flag. Especially when they ask you, say, Mommy, Murenke is going to a party. Can I follow her? And she says, eh, you want to follow Murenke to the party? Oh, yeah, go now. You just hear one voice say, my daughter, it will be your last go, you know. My hand is not there. You will know not to go. But here, you're like, thanks, mom. In Nigeria, it's your last going. Something will just let you know. Here, you can talk back to your mom. Mom, why did you tell me not to go? In Nigeria, you will not finish that sentence. That is why we're the most brilliant in the whole wide world. You're lucky here. You go out with your mom to an event. You are sitting on the same table. And if you look at her sitting with her mom on the same table. Have you eaten with your mom in the same plate before? You've eaten with your mom in the same plate. Oh, my shoe. Light it graduates. Before I ate with my mom in the same plate, I was a degree older. These kids in America, they don't know what they enjoy. Your mom will tell you when we go out, you are not supposed to eat anywhere. My child will ask me in front of the people that we went to visit. Daddy, is this auntie one of the people we are not supposed to eat in their house? You are on your own, no, I'm a buruku. If you look at I'm a major. Auntie will now say, is it true? I did not suppose, no. And you know what your mom says? Ah, eat now. You know that that eat now is a trap. Eat now, America kid. Thanks, mom. In Nigeria, when they say, eat now, and your mom smile, does not disappear. Don't eat it too. And they say, eat now. <laughs> I'm gonna be you. That's the last. You know why you are laughing? Because in America, you can call the Department of Child Service. They just beat me up and they will come and, you know, fight with your mom. In Nigeria, we don't have department like that. Your mom is the alpha and the, your beginning and fear them more. A round of applause for all the Nigerian mothers in the house. That is why we excel. The way things work here, it does not work in Nigeria like that. Nigerians are very special people. We are the most special people in the world. That is why Jesus cannot come from Nigeria. In fact, when rapture happens, the Nigerians that will be left behind will show devil. Pepe! While he's doing mark of the beast, 666, Nigerians are already selling 999 in traffic. Yes, buy your mark, buy your mark. 
devil is selling six six. We are selling nine nine nine. Buy your mark, buy your mark. Oh, meta ten company, buy your mark. You think if Jesus was in Nigeria, blood of Jesus would be free? No, in traffic. Buy your blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, of Jesus. original blood, fifteen naira per liter. The one diluted with holy water, twenty naira per liter. Buy your blood, my dad. You don't see this one. Come on, buy your blood. Thank you very much. My name is Shay Brown.